three, two, one. Like, you can't. Nice. All these guys that are being like confident for the no, being positive for the sake of it. Do you really love the club? Because if you really love something, you want it to get better. Do you know what I mean? If your club's if your club's shit and you don't want it to get better, like how can you truly say that you love the club? It doesn't make sense. I, I, I'm with you. Listen, I, I remember going to White Hot Lane when I was three or four years old for the first time. And it, obviously back then it's all a bit of a blur, but you just remember being around loads of adults and it's busy and everyone's trampling over each other and there's police horses everywhere and you're treading in cow pat, uh, sorry, dog, uh, horse shit and all that. And listen, mm. the good days, the good days. And then I bring it forward to today and everyone's so everyone's so tribalistic. Like you, you're not mm. allowed an opinion that goes against the grain. And I think mm -hmm. we're of that. Oh, I think I'm a couple of years older than you, Rance, but we're of that era where mm. it's all right to say how you feel. I don't have to be a sheep, right? Mm -hmm. If everyone else loves Conte, cool, love Conte. And you know the thing I'll never do, I'll never, ever do, even if there's Spurs fans in here. When I'm talking to you, Rance, when I'm talking to everyone in your chat, I'm giving my opinion. You will never yeah. hear me go, you should not like Conte. No. Yeah. Each, each to their own. If, if you love that, if you like that football, if you look forward to it, cool. But the simplest way I can explain this is always for years and years and years, growing up, whatever, it doesn't matter from the age of five right the way through to even in my mid-30s, the thought of missing a Spurs game, I hated it, right? There'd be, mm. my boys would be meeting for a night out or this, that, the other. I'd always wait till the game had finished. I'd go and meet them, whatever it might be. You know, you work your weekend around it. Now I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if I'm back for it, I'm back for it. That That's how bored I yep. am of watching this football club. Um, and yeah, I might as well just watch Match of the Day. I, I might as well, because there's such little highlights in a Spurs game. And... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, it is what it is. No, bro, listen, we've all been there. Everyone that supports Manchester United in this chat understand. Um, guys that support Liverpool definitely understand because they've been shit for most of my life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they're going back to where I met them when I was born. So, do you know what I mean? Well done, you lot. You know what I mean? So, it's just one of them things. It's only, Chelsea fans are going through it right now. But one thing about Chelsea is they'll spend their way out of trouble. Like, they will. Of course they will. Of course they will. I, I, I said last week, and I get into it. Listen, I, I, I truly think, forget this year. Once they get over this, once they get their players back fit, whoever the manager is, you know, next year when they've got Nkunku and they've got, they'll get that, this Moises Casado and they've got Badashili, Fafana, Mudrick, Chilwell, um, Yao Felix, uh, Be, um, mm -hmm. Reece James. They'll, they'll be all right. They will. And, and that's why... When I look at them right now, I don't see it. I don't get any pleasure in gloating that we're five places above them because I know it's for a, I know it's for that moment in time. Mm -hmm. uh, but listen, it's it's interesting. You guys go, was it? You guys go eight points clear of us if you win tonight. Eight points clear with our next three games being Man City away, Fulham away, right? And Man City at home. <laughs> bro, bro, technically, yeah, this game could se secure top four for us, you know, if we win it. I'll yeah. be real. Like, that's what it's looking like. Just with the fixtures, um, just with the fixtures of the people below us and also the form that we're in. It's, you know what's mad? Like, we seem to be getting better every week. And, mm. and that's what I like about Man United right now is that, we had our little shitty blip at the beginning of the season when people thought it was over for us. And then now we're starting to just, the longer we get together as a team, the longer the manager has, the better we're getting. We seem to just be improving little by little by little. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's one of them ones now. where we still have to go to Arsenal. Chelsea have to come to us. We have to go to Liverpool. But, bro, and I think we have to go to you lot because we smoked you lot at us. But, yeah. bro... Oh, You'll beat us at ours as well. I'm not know. worried about going to Tottenham. I'm not worried about going to Liverpool. Where where else do we have to go? Do you like, have to go I'm to not City? Nah, they smashed us at theirs and then we beat them at ours. So we don't have to play them again. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah bro, yeah, I'm yeah, not worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, worried yeah. about any of these teams, bro. The Arsenal game is going to be our most tough test. Do you right. know what I'm saying? Look, Other than that, 
other than the Arsenal game, I ain't, bruv, I'm not even thinking about anyone else. I'll be Do you real. know what, right? Tonight, once it, once you've played, let's assume, we'll, we'll play the hypothetical game. Let's assume you win. Mm. You'll be exactly halfway through the season mm. and you'll be nine, um, sorry, eight points above Tottenham, played the same amount of games. Mm. That then means that for the last 19 games of the season, if Spurs win, if Spurs win, um, sorry, if you win 10 of your last 19 mm. games, we have to win minimum 13 of ours. Right. There you go. You you you've just got to not sorry. You've just not got to lose three three more than than us. But that's what I mean, bro. Like that's what I mean. And people say Newcastle away. Let me tell you something about Newcastle. Yeah, them man are gonna park the bus against us, and they stink, bro. But guess what, bro? We got a six foot six striker now that we can put the ball in the mixer and shit house games if we need to, bro. Like this is what it is. Like we've got we've got a plan B now. Do you know what I mean? And this guy's played for Burnley, so he's used to fighting for his life. So it's one of them things where we'll go to teams like this and having a striker like that turns draws into wins, bro. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Like, that's no. what you got to realise because instead of a nil-nil game, we might get a little one-nil set piece or something. Do you know what I mean? we got a different threat now. Do you know what I mean? And he's got a good fitness record as well. When you actually look at his injury record, that he, he's fit most of the time as well, which we've never really had. So... It's one of them things where genuinely, yeah, genuinely, everyone's talking about Newcastle away. Bro, they've got a great defensive record, but these men, against the big teams, they just sit back and stink the place out. Now, when we played them, they sat back and done exactly what they've done against Arsenal. Sat back and stank the place out, and we couldn't break them down. Do you know what I mean? But let, let's not pretend that Newcastle are blowing away like the fucking big teams. They're not, bro. Like, they're just frustrating the shit out of them, bro. Look at their defensive record. They're just sitting back. Them are not trying to play. Do you know what I mean? Newcastle, when they're at home, play like they're the away team, bro. They're, they're doing some watered-down Simeone ball at Newcastle. Yeah. So, yeah, they're uh, getting results, but let's not pretend that they're playing some amazing football against the big teams, bro. Like, they're not doing yeah. it. Yeah, I, I think, look, um, do you know what? You, the beauty of you guys winning tonight from your perspective, not from my perspective, mm. but from your perspective, not only mm. do you go second and eight points clear of us, but what you also then do is you also then psych Man City to the point where they mm. have to beat us tomorrow. Mm. First of all, to keep in touch with Arsenal. Second of all, to go back in front of you. And then what that does is that puts us eight points behind you and you'll mm. have a game in hand. I mean, how... How it's got to that stage after half of the season is mm. absolutely shocking. We've got, do you know how many how many teams? Right, we've uh, we, we've got a worse defence than. Hang on, there's one, two, three, four, five. Only six teams have let in more goals than Tottenham Hotspur. Only six teams. So that that we've got a worse defence than Everton and West Ham, who are in the bottom three. Right. So only Southampton, Bournemouth, Leeds, L Leicester, Forest, and Fulham have let in more goals than us. That's crazy. And this is this is a man that doesn't attack teams. That's <laughs> let fucked, that sink you know. in. That's fucked. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, look, it, it is what it is. I, I just don't even care. Top four I mean, people keep talking about. Do you still hope for top four? I don't care. I don't care. Honestly, man, so it don't mean anything to me. I enjoyed the Champions League better when we're not in it, if I'm honest. 